Hello and welcome to Let's Play Aztec. Don't worry, I'm not giving up on Pugsy. I just thought a change of pace might be good for the monotony. Aztec was a game released for the Apple II in 1982, and it was later ported to the Atari and the Commodore, I believe. <clears throat> a few weeks ago, rumors surfaced that Professor G. Von Forster, noted tomb robber and archaeologist, had discovered the entrance to the tomb of Quetzalcoatl. Inside this tomb, there is a jade idol worth a fortune to anyone who could find it and return alive. You are now standing at the entrance to the tomb. Before you enter, remember that the tomb is guarded by terrible monsters and men without mercy. Also, don't forget about Von Forster's nasty streak. He may have left some deadly surprises behind. One more thing, the value of the idol is high right now, but dropping steadily. The faster you return under the greatest difficulty, the larger your reward will be. If you're good enough, you could well become a millionaire. I have never become a millionaire. Let's start a new game. Choose a level of difficulty from 1 to 8. Let me tell you something. I have played this game dozens of times on difficulty level 1, and I have beaten it exactly once. This is a tough, unforgiving game. Enter if you dare. These are some state-of-the-art graphics. This game doesn't have much going for it as far as sound goes, so I'm playing some of my own music in the background. I hope it's not too intrusive. Okay, let's point out some elements of the game screen. This, of course, is your hero. You can uh, uh, move back and forth, you can run, you can jump, you can walk. Everything is controlled with a keyboard, and the controls are a little unintuitive at first, but you get used to them pretty quickly. This down here is a pile of trash. Digging through trash is vital in uncovering items, weapons, bullets, things that can help you. And this is an item crate, a box. You open it up and eventually you'll find the idol inside of that. This down here is just decoration. Hit the Z key to bring up your inventory. We have zero bullets, three sticks of dynamite, and three strength, which is like our hit points. And uh, this is a pile of skulls, just decoration. Pretty uh, sparse graphics, but for the time, this was actually pretty good. Hit the escape key to bring up the movement. As you can see, it's a little, just a little convoluted. You hit W to walk, R to run, J to jump. Uh, yeah, let's return to play. I'll be honest with you, I'm not expecting to beat this game in the course of these less plays. Uh, like I said, I've only beaten them once. It's a tough game. And really, I just wanted to show it off. Nothing in that crate. Let's see if there's anything in this pile of trash. That is a pistol. Let's go ahead and take that. Add it to, an, to our inventory. We don't have any bullets for it yet, but hopefully we'll fix that. Okay, and right away, we enter a room with no exits. And supposedly, we just teleported through the wall. nothing in that crate. There's some pretty serious graphical glitches in this game. Yeah, I know, I'm trapped. In fact, it's possible to die due to nothing else than a graphical glitch, which is pretty frustrating when it happens. Hey, bullets. Okay, what do we do when we're trapped like this? Well, the ceiling is probably going to start coming down on us, so we better use some of that dynamite. Plant some there run away. We want to be as far from the dynamite as possible when it explodes. And as you can see, the ceiling has aspirations to crush us. Okay, that blows a hole in the floor. Let's go down to the, to the next level. We spend a pretty good portion of time in this game unconscious on the floor. More so than in most other video games I've played. It doesn't actually hurt you when it happens. You just have to wait a few seconds before you regain your senses. Uh-oh. There's a crocodile. Let's see if we can shoot it. Yep. Nothing in there. When I said let's see if we can shoot it, I was serious. There are times in this game when 
professors in that box. Okay. Like I was saying, there's times in this game when you think you should be able to shoot something, but you can't. Just uh, one of the weird idiosyncrasies of this game. The thing we found in that pile of trash, by the way, was a potion. Uh, that's why we have four strength now instead of three. Which means we can get hit four times before we die. Nothing in there. Nothing there. I know there's no box around. Nothing. And nothing. Well, this is exciting. There's some little enemies, like that spider up there at the top of those stairs. We can't shoot those. In order to defeat those, we need a machete. Usually you find the machete first and the gun second, but I guess we just got lucky. Yes, I'm repeatedly jumping because that's the fastest way to get around. Remember what I said about graphical glitches? We should be able to walk through that box, no problem. I mean, it's just a box. But for some reason, it keeps knocking us down. Uh, let's try climbing these stairs and getting behind the box that way. Yeah, I know, it's stupid. There are a lot of stupid things about this game. But at the same time, I mean, I really think the game was revolutionary in a lot of ways. I mean, first of all... Oh, bullets. First of all, the levels are completely randomly generated. Well, I don't know that for a fact. I know that every time I play, it seems to be completely different. I suppose it's possible that there's a finite amount of levels, and that I just haven't found them all. But still, I mean, it's a lot more complex than your average adventure game for the apple. More dynamite, we'll need that. Ah, stand up. Nothing in there. Let's see if we can get up these stairs. Nope. Oh well. Let's go down those stairs that, that were over to the left. There's a box up there, but even if we can get to it, it's probably nothing we need. There's that professor again. What, did they dismember him? And put his body parts in various boxes throughout the temple. That's what it sounds like. Another pistol. Don't need that. I wish they said specifically what body parts you were finding. You find the head of Professor Von Forster. More bullets? Or maybe that was dynamite. It's kind of hard to tell in this game. Oh. Come on. Sometimes there will be a glitch in the stairs and it won't let you climb them if you're running. You have to walk. You can always climb downstairs when you're running though. Uh oh. Uh oh, come on, wake up. Best thing to do when you find a trapped trash pile like that is to just get as far away as possible and crouch down. Minimize the impact to you. I don't think that hurt us. Nope. Just knocked us, knocked us out for a minute. Okay. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. We have a pistol. We haven't been hit yet. We have plenty of supplies. 
Well, uh, this looks like a good place to pause for now. So I'll go ahead and save the game. It's another way this game was fairly revolutionary. Uh, in 1982, the ability to save your game was a big deal. And let's go ahead and quit. Now the next time we start the game, we should be able to resume from where we were. Alright, well, uh, until next time, I'll see you either when I play more Aztec or more Pugsy. I haven't decided how long I'm going to keep this up. Who knows, I might even beat it. I guess time will tell. Oh well, see you guys later.